first leech. Fuck off. What we got here is a coastal carpet. Um, just getting her off the road. We were just driving down through Mount Glory. You can see the line there. Um, we're up here on my ankle. Here. Whoa! Um, She'd be looking for a few rodents, I reckon, tonight. It's been a hot day, so she's out for the hunt tonight. There's nothing in her belly, you can see. Let's try to calm her down for a sec. Uh, it's all right to get bitten by these. They're not poisonous or anything, but if you did, I'd get it cleaned, put some betadine on that, maybe even see your doctor. But um, yeah, you won't. Won't get hit with any venom by this one, but you don't want to get bitten by them. Just let her run through your hands. Know that you're not a threat to them. She's all relaxed, but you can tell she's ready to go. So I will just let her go back into the rainforest. And hopefully she'll get a feed tonight. But not bad. What do we got, George? Oh. oh, we got a spotted python here. Awesome. So this is one of the two species that live in Mount Glorious region where we are in Diagula National Park. He's just a small fella, but they get to uh, about one metre to a metre and a half. What it's doing at the moment is just getting the warmth of the road. We were just driving past, so get it off the road, but it's already on its way. But beautiful python, hence their name, spotted python. You can see the spots all, all over its body. And he's quite relaxed at the moment. No harm. You can see it's flickering its tongue, sensing what's around. Yeah, just it looks like it might just be a juvenile, not quite fully grown yet. And uh, they feed on the bats that enter their caves, which is their main food source. But obviously, at this age, they'd be feeding on frogs around this area. There's a creek that creek that just runs along through there, so that's what he'd be chasing tonight. I've only ever caught one other python, which is a carpet python, so I don't have many bragging rights when it comes to pythons, but this might not be a big deal for some, but I'm happy. I've been wanting to find them. How good. Oh, he scratched my finger though. Oh, he did. All right, so what is it, George? This is a uh, male eastern water dragon. So they're coming on the eastern coast of Australia in Queensland and New South Wales mainly and um, yeah it's a male is it it's a male pretty but decent he's, size he's just getting the warmth of the road tonight but yeah. um, don't want him getting run over so get him off get him off here there you have it let's go cool. Shrek it out Tommy Bert. Do you want to hold Bert? Hey Bert. Hello Bert. How weird are they? It's a um, brown tree snake. Uh, it's just crossing the road, so we're just, 
I just quickly ran out and got him off, but uh, it's one of the biggest ones I've seen. I'm sure they get a lot bigger than this. Beautiful snake. It's almost an orange colour. And um, when they feel threatened, they <laughs> do exactly that. So you'll um, do an S shape on his head, uh, on his neck, and he'll just strike. Go for you. That's awesome. But um, it's quite a large one. Just let her go here. This is when they get in their fence stance. They coil up, and go bang, and there you go. Hello. G'day. How are you? Yeah, not bad. And yourself? Yeah, good, thanks. What do we got, George? So what we got here is a large adult rough scale snake. Um, if you can zoom in a little bit, you can see their rough scales on it. Um, their name, but they've got a nice pattern to them, the light brown. And that's a rough scale for you. We saw it crossing the road, so we just trying to scare it back off the road so it doesn't get hurt but um yeah he's a he's a feisty one so we just don't want to get on his bad side on his bad side but we'll just follow him make sure he gets off the road safely here we're going down to the water stream just down here to uh have a look at some prey that's what you don't want to at this point is very agitated and he'll go you straight up. Um, yeah, we'll just try and get him off. 